All right, this is about the VAT system, pass key system. Watch it all the way to the end because some things after I finished doing it, I went to the shop today. So watch it all the way to the end. It's pretty cool. Talk to you later. You put it in the off position and then you put it back in the run position. Now it'll, don't try to start it. Just put it in the run position. It'll blink again. Set your watch for 10 more minutes. And it'll blink again for 10 minutes. You come sit here at like 9.45 and you just sit here and watch it till it stops blinking again. When it stops blinking again, you shut it off and you turn it back into the run position. And it'll keep blinking again for 10 more minutes. And you do that three times. It has to be a cycle of three, 30 minutes. And after that, you shut it off and then you should be able to start your car from there. And if it doesn't start, there's a bigger problem than that. If you have to do the cycle two or three times, here's a problem with the Saturn. If you have to do that cycle a couple of times, your daytime running lights are on as it's sitting there for 30 minutes. So you may drain your battery. So I have a battery charger there. But uh, this car wasn't starting. It was sitting in front of the house and it wasn't starting. So that's how we cycled it to get to this point right here. So as you can see, it's starting right now. But the security light and the service light is on right now so it may need service but uh i'm gonna bypass the vat system right now and we're gonna go from there with the service light i did find out right there that the solid security light means that your anti-theft system is not working so the good thing about that is if it's blinking it shuts off your fuel injectors if it's a solid light it's not working anyways all right what we're doing right now is my wife is double checking me we're gonna be working on the vat system and she's getting the ohms ready double checking my ohms we got the ohms meter here it's on 20,000 ohms you can read it we ordered the resistors off of ebay and i went down and put a piece of tape on the bottom so they can stay and she's double checking the ohms for each resistor that I wrote down on the side and what we're doing this for is so when we get out to the car and take the column apart we got to check the ohms on the wires under the column I'll show you that tomorrow but we're trying to get this out the way tonight so it's one less step we got to do tomorrow to check the ohms on the resistors all you do is put your testers on the one end of the resistor the positive on one end the negative on the other and it'll tell you how much ohm resistance is in that resistor and see some are like nine one three you could buy some and i thought these were actually going to be labeled these weren't labeled these were just all 15 in one pack so what you're going to have to do is say like these are in thousands so say your cars is like 25,400 you have to add all these up in a chain in order to get the resistance you're going to need but we'll go through that tomorrow all right there's three screws right here underneath the steering column on the 2002 Saturn 200 they're a small torx they're not a bolt they're a torx i bought my socket set out here so all you gotta do is take these three off so we're gonna do that right now these mother hubbers okay Torx, Torx, that's like a six millimeter, five millimeter. I'll find out right now. That last one was a seven millimeter right there. Seven millimeter. And then the bottom part should come out. Let's see how this is going to work. If it comes apart. Yeah, I try to figure everything out to show you. Sometimes I turn off the camera and let you know how I did it. All right, so the top pulled apart. There's clips in there. The those just pulled apart, so the top is off. Now I gotta figure out if that part that came down right there. And let's see, this part just clip comes out, and that comes off the column right there. So that's exposed right there. All right. And I just completely showed you that for nothing because on the 2002 Saturn L200, the wires you need for your VAT system are not there. They're on the other side. Okay, the whole dashboard was in with clips. So I just pulled all these clips out and it came down as much as possible. But this other part is really screwed in here pretty good. 
So I'm looking for the wires that King Brain is talking about here now. All right, now on the passenger side, as you can see, the screws are actually like they were are already messed with. So the BCM on the 2002 Saturn L200 is underneath or on top of inside of here. So I got to take the glove box out and apparently the bottom kickboard on the passenger side. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six screws to get the uh, glove compartment out. Okay, so the body control manual is on top of the glove box. You can see I kind of ripped it up here. There were some pins. Not only was it held up my screws, there were some pins on the bottom of this that held this in place. Little plastic pins and it's connected to the heater thing. So, like I said, this car is either being given away or scrapped. I'll make it look as best as I can. If we are giving it away, if it's being scrapped, that's a whole different story. Alright, here's where I'm thinking the wires are. All right, not the first pin, but the second pin. The second pin is the only one that I've seen. The yellow, the orange and black, and the red and white. Orange, black, red, white, yellow. Now, here's the thing, though. In the same amount of wires, there's another orange and black, solid black, And that's kind of an off-way yellow. But these are the three that are together. So I'm thinking it's going to be these three right here. Orange, black, red, white, and yellow. Now I went to all the other ones because it's red and white striped. Red and white striped, orange and black striped. Now there's some other ones, but I don't think that's it. I believe those are the wires that I'm looking for. So let me get back to King Brain now. Okay. Best to my knowledge, this is best guess. This is like we're looking for a bomb. These are the three wires I'm gonna cut. Actually, this is the orange and black, and this is the yellow. The yellow gets cut and spliced to give you some room because the orange and black you don't cut. You just give yourself room with the razor blade. You cut around it and just cut it so you can test it with an ohm meter. Because when you put the key in run, you're gonna test the ohm from the yellow to the black. From the uh, ignition from the ignition to the black and you're gonna get the ohms and then after you get those ohms you're gonna match it from the black to the body control manual module and then this should work so wish me luck here I'm gonna strip this one back right now and I'm gonna cut this one with room okay I got the black wire stripped yellow wire cut this is from the ignition this is to the body control mad module got my ohm meter ready okay don't start it put it in the run position take your ohm meter let me see if i can get the stand up the black is supposed to go on the black and the yellow is going to or the or the red is going to the uh ignition i'm getting a point 64 ohms and then there's two ways to do it one i read to go the opposite way i get a 1.09 one way is 0.64 and one way is 1.09 i don't know if you can see that okay so that's what i gotta try to create with the resistors but i was told to take the highest number which is 1.09 now king brain says take the lowest number so we'll see what's going on. Do not try to start your car in this position. If these are the right wires, we're gonna try it, and then we're gonna uh, might have to do the pass the the three uh, time reset. Now these are the resistors that I got: 0.64 and 1.09, and it can be off by 0.5. So I got a 0.99. A 1.13 so the point 99 will be right in between both of them probably so with my luck I don't got to match anything up I'm gonna put the point 99 in between them now this is gonna go from the black wire to the body control module okay there from the black wire to the body control module hopefully hopefully the car don't blow up my, my heart is racing so bad 
My me and my wife already said we're gonna junk the car if it don't work. Okay, all right, let's see what happens. Okay, good news, bad news. Good news is the car started right up, no problems. So it worked. Bad news is security light is on. So there is a problem. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the 30 minute relearn procedure. I mean, car started right up, but the service and security light is on. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is this is gonna be my work car. I'm driving this back and forth to work. Make sure that everything goes okay with this. Take the service light in, see what's going on with it. I'm gonna tape all this up right here and then I'll update you on what's going on and put all this back together. I'll go to O'Reilly's right now and uh, see if uh, uh, I can get this uh, service engine soon, like see what that's saying. But uh, I'm thinking I did bypass it when I pulled the code. I'll see more detail and I'll let you know about that. All right, so I'm done with everything. I'm gonna let the car run for 30 minutes because if you run, let it run for 30 minutes, apparently with a new resistor in there, it's supposed to give itself a hard reset. So I just, me like a big dummy, I reset the, I took the battery off for 15 minutes and replugged it. You see the service engine light is back on with the security light. Okay, now that security light is not blinking. That's a hard security light. So that security light in a hard position like that is saying that there's a trouble with the alarm system. Therefore, it is not providing uh, security to the car, which is a good thing because it lets fuel to the injectors. If that sucker is blinking, that means that the, it's not letting gas to the uh, injectors. And I've actually seen another guy bypass that. He followed the electric wire for the injectors and he freaking plugged it straight into the power wire. So when he turned the car on, the injectors got fuel and he went down the road. <laughs> I mean, there was a, 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 if you watch Fast and Loud, uh, the bearded wonder what they called him. He did a, a, a Hellcat standalone engine without the harness and they said it couldn't be done he says it can be done you just got to figure out the wiring and he proved them right man he brought diablo sports in and they did it so they said i tried bypassing this with the ohms my lights are still on that right there oh yeah that is a hard cold right there uh, o'reilly's told me they couldn't tell me what it was and they can't erase it but there's nothing wrong with the car now that was stored in the history and there's nothing wrong but it is a dealer code now it was in the history it could have been in this body control module that i got because this is the third one i had put in the car all right i got a friend that owns a shop i'm taking it to tomorrow that i don't care that that's on that security light saying that the vat system is not working is it due to me bypassing it i don't know here's the thing this video is here nor there because that was like that before i did this bypass oh contrary stay tuned keep watching you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying either way my conspiracy theory i always got these conspiracy theories is if i cut the wrong wires it wouldn't be running right now because i do have a yellow wire underneath on the module that is cut in half and bypassed that yellow wire is completely cut in half they say another thing if you cut that yellow wire in half you turn your car on and you cut that yellow wire in half just cut it in half with the car on that your security light will stay blinking but you won't never worry about it anymore you could drive your car turn it on and off but it'll always stay blinking now i didn't cut it in half i bypassed it with a resistor so i cut the yellow wire put the resistor to the orange and black wire now my conspiracy theory is it did work because it uh the car's still running it got a solid light right there but did it work 100 percent no because i think that light should be off saying that hey there's a resistor here you got the ohms or whatever but i'm gonna drive the car for a week and we'll see what goes on so this is gonna be part one and part two is gonna be if i'm stranded somewhere and i'm like what the hell happened don't do this to your car all right to finish off i've been youtubing for years so i know this is kind of like a not finished video here because i'm pretty upset with it so you didn't learn kind of if the vat system was fully bypassed or not and that's what's bothering me like i said my conspiracy theory is that it is bypassed due to the fact that the car is running 
right now and that yellow wire was cut all right but believe it or not when i turned the car on to drive it around into my backyard that's when the security light and the service light went on right before i started this video so that just irked the crap out of me but what could you have picked up what could you have learned you could have learned on a 2002 saturn l200 the body control module is on top of the glove compartment you got to take off those six screws and then there's three pins at the bottom so you don't rip it like I did. You know, uh, I showed you how to take off the column part, although the body control module was not on the column part. Uh, I mean, there was things you could have picked up for the video. So before you slam me to death, oh, you found out about King, King, uh, King Brain. Check out King Brain. He got some stuff on it also. You know, there's a guy on the internet. He's bypass the vast system on a ford f-150 kind of the same way as this but it's his his is actually in his column not by the bcm so so wordo for a fact the three main wires we we're looking for i for a fact know on the saturn l200 because i seen the schematic for that car that it's a red and white a orange and black and a yellow for the vat system and in fact those were the wires i cut going to the bcm so I'm 99% sure that I did the right wires and I got the right ohms in there. I'm going to be driving the car for a week, so you really got to stay tuned. Is it killing you? Because it's killing me because I'm going to be like this driving to work for the next week, seeing if something's going to go on. Either way, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And if you think I cut the wrong wires, let me know. Just don't slam me too bad. All right. Bye. All right. So this is the following day. I did go to the shop. Remember I told you I went to O'Reilly's yesterday and they told me that that uh, wrench thingy, it was in the history, nothing wrong with the car and it was a dealer code. Well, I had my friend pull up a code. He had the really nice uh, all tell or whatever. And uh, he said that my DRLs are going bad. Now, if you see in the top corner, not right now, but you get blinking green lights right here, blinking green lights, that means the DRL are bad. And when I said before you do the the reset the 10 minute reset 10 minute reset 10 minute reset you know to reprogram it my drls weren't on and i didn't even realize that so i was wondering why my battery doesn't drain normally if you do the 10 minute reset twice your battery is shot and that wasn't but i wanted to show you this see there's the drl light that's saying the blinking green light but look at that no wrench no security what he did for me was he completely reset the computer so after work i drove over there he says i'll plug it in the computer for you don't worry about it so he checked he completely reset the computer back to learn all the codes but it erased the pass lock code oh that was a code that came up remember i said i had the solid pass lock right here it was a solid pass lock and but it's good a solid one saying that the pass lock is no good there's no good code but that happened before i did the bypass all right so anyways he when he reset everything it reset the pass lock the vat system so he says man that might not work because you had a bad ohm resistor in your lock cylinder when you bypass it so you might have a bad resistor when you bypass everything over there so i did the you know you turn the key and you because after he reset it the car wouldn't start man i had that security light blinking and blinking and blinking so you know it's not going to start you got to do the 30 minute reset so i turned it for you know set my timer on my watch 30 minutes let it blink for 10 minutes turn the key back turn it back to run let it blink for another 10 minutes turn it back turn it back to run let it blink for another 10 minutes three cycles after that i turn it back i turn it back on bam no lights it learned the new ohm resistor that i put in there how awesome is that either way this was going to be my first upload uh before you go cutting your wires man wait a week and then i'm going to uh, update you in a week because i'm going to keep the car for a week before i give it away all right talk to you later Bye bye